Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Thursday, April 4th. EV battery maker StoreDot says its silicon dominant battery cells are the world's first to achieve more than 2,000 consecutive extreme fast charging cycles. StoreDot says its battery cells maintained over 80% of their initial capacity, meaning EV drivers can fast charge their cars in minutes daily without having to worry about their battery health. The cells were charged consecutively from 10% to 80% in 10 minutes. This is a considerable industry milestone, with the results surpassing current EV durability regulations. StoreDot says it's on track with production readiness this year of their fast charging cells that can deliver 100 miles charged in 5 minutes. The company also aims to deliver 100 miles charged in 3 minutes by 2028. Tesla is turning to deep discounts on new vehicles as inventory piles up. The automaker delivered far fewer vehicles in Q1 than anyone expected. They also added over 46,000 vehicles to their global inventory. This might be another rough quarter for Tesla as the automaker introduces even more incentives. New vehicles are discounted by several thousand dollars. This is even before the $7,500 federal tax credit, which can be applied at the same time of purchase if the buyer is eligible. Most of the discounts on the Model Y appear to be close to the $3,000 to $4,000 range, but even that is huge for Tesla early in the quarter. This lower demand might be due to EV competitors finally catching up in price and tech. Less than six months after dooming bankruptcy filing, Volta trucks have reemerged from the ashes with fresh capital and a lean down business plan. The EV startup can now resume its work in delivering electric last mile trucks to customers this year. Volta Trucks spent nearly four years working towards initial deliveries of its flagship commercial truck, the Volta Zero. Several rounds of funding were bolstered by pre-orders as well as plans to expand into the US. By 2023, Volta appeared poised to hit the European market. Production began in Austria ahead of those planned deliveries, but things started to go south once its battery supplier Polterra filed for bankruptcy last summer. Then by October, Volta Trucks announced that it too was filing for bankruptcy. But a month later, Luxor Capital Group, a shareholder in Volta Trucks and one of its largest lenders, finalized a deal to purchase the startup and keep the operations going. This gave the commercial EV startup the financial runway to continue its work, albeit a more focused, lean down business strategy. Luxor Capital's funding of the revived startup includes a Series A round of funding for investors. Volta expects the Series A to deliver enough capital to begin zero truck series production and deliver its first EVs to customers. EV startup Canoe paid $1.7 million for CEO Tony Aquila's private jet bills, twice its total revenue last year. Canoe, which hasn't yet turned a profit as a public company, brought in $886,000 in revenue last year and lost $302 million. Certainly, the EV maker is burning through a lot of cash right now as it attempts to ramp up volume production with its commercial vehicles and also avoid the fate of a lot of these other fallen EV startups. Lavish private jet spending is certainly not a great look for an EV startup committed to a greener future. And Canoe has been struggling for a while now. After reporting an annual loss of $302 million, its stock dropped as much as 38%. This means the company will need to rely on investors to make it through the year. And heavy expenditures on private jets can be seen as a red flag, particularly for a company in trouble. Elon Musk's new AI startup, XAI, has been recruiting from Tesla's own AI team. XAI has been a controversial endeavor for Musk, primarily because he has described Tesla as an AI company, which would put him in direct competition with Tesla. Earlier this year, Musk asked for a 25% voting control over Tesla because of his fear that some entity could take over the company to control its AI projects. He warned that without this level of control, he would quote prefer to build products outside of Tesla, presumably at the new XAI, which many saw as a clear conflict of interest. Now this is a strange situation for a major company like Tesla to be in. With any other company or CEO, the board would likely be all over these conflicts of interest, but not with Tesla and Elon. In today's community comments found on YouTube, somebody mentioned that having a longer range generally means having a heavier battery pack in your car. While this added weight would cut down on the car's range, but the new generation of batteries also carry more energy density. These bigger batteries may be more useful to larger vehicles like semis rather than regular commuter EVs. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. I'm Steven and have a great day.